10 reasons why Samsung is better than Apple. We'll begin with the first reason why Samsung is better than Apple in 2021. And before you get in your feelings, I will be doing why Apple is better than Samsung tomorrow. This is a throwback to a video I did a couple years ago. We're doing an updated version here. Now in 2021, the first reason is Samsung DeX. Now if you have a monitor and a keyboard, you don't even really need a keyboard, you just need a monitor. You can wirelessly put this thing up to a monitor or just use an HDMI cable, which is what I do, and it goes right to a monitor. So first, right off the bat, you can boost your productivity. That's something you cannot do with the iPhone. The second reason why is there's more unlocking options with the Samsung device. You have the fingerprint sensor, you have a pattern code, or you can do a face unlock here. If you look at the device, it's kind of hard to see with the camera, give me a second. You can see it'll go right in right there. So more unlocking options right off the bat make Samsung better. Number three, the third reason is a more versatile camera system. You can see right here we have a triple, but where I really mean this is more on like the S21 Ultra right here with having that 100 times zoom. But here for the S21 Plus, you do have a very good camera system. And why I say more versatile is because on these cameras, you do have more zoom. Even on these S21 Plus here, you have 30 times zoom. You don't get that for the iPhone. Look at this, 10X, 30X, and then you have more features here. The director's view where you can split the cameras right there. If we go to more, you have more features than you have on the iPhone camera. So it's just a more versatile camera setup and system than what you find on the iPhone. So that's the third reason why Samsung is better here in 2021. The fourth reason is more device choice. So you have things like the S21 line, or if you want something that's a little bit cheaper, you can go with the Galaxy A72, which does give you a similar build and look. However, it's a lot cheaper and it does give you similar cameras, but they're not quite as high end. They don't produce the same results, but at least for different price ranges, you have a little bit more choice. There's a lot more Samsung options out there than the iPhone side. You even have foldable devices like the Z Fold 2. You have, you know, flipping devices. You have more coming in the lineup. You have Note device, Note 20 Ultra. There's just so many options, just more options, more options. Who doesn't want more options to choose from? Then number five is the file system is more robust on here. You can plug in SSDs. You can do that on the iPhone as well. However, this overall file system is more close and akin to a computer. They want me to move stuff to OneDrive, but you could just see right here, compressed images, documents. It's just more of a robust file system on here. We could say one-handed mode, by the way, since I accidentally triggered that is an advantage because you have more of a customizable one-handed mode versus just that reachability thing on the iPhone. But I'm not gonna make that a reason. Number six is the better multitasking by far. Not only can you multitask and pop view windows, like this, you could put them there. You can bring more of those in here. Let's go ahead and do that again. And then let's go ahead and grab another one. All these applications that shows here can be split into a multitasking. Let me go back there. I accidentally triggered that. You'll see right there, we will have the ability to pop multiple applications here. And the multitasking just goes on and on for this device. So it just gets better and better depending on what you're doing. So you can even bring this, minimize this application down. And then you could actually go into the multitasking window right here. You can do a pop view there. You can bring that down. It'll have all the applications there. If that doesn't work for you, so if you don't like that, you can go ahead and split them right here. You can flip between each other on these applications. You can add an app pair, which already happened here. You can bring this down. You can bring this up. This You just can't do this stuff for the iPhone, it's really sad because it has a bigger screen than some of the Samsung phones that are available. And the Samsung phones can do this on pretty much all of their sizes. So you're not limited just to getting one of the more premium S21 series devices. You can do this on pretty much all of the One UI based devices, pretty neat. Now, number seven is the platform openness. It's not as locked down as the iPhone. You could throw launchers on here, which will make it more your own device. You don't have to use Samsung's One UI. If you don't, like say you wanna use the Microsoft launcher, you can go ahead and use that if that's more your cup of tea. If you're more into the Nova, you wanna really customize it to your own liking, you can do that here. And this has been a reason for a long time, but I gotta say, it's definitely a real reason at number seven. And at number eight is the battery size <laughs> for Samsung devices. The Galaxy S21 Plus has a 4800. The Galaxy S21 Ultra has a 5000.
thousand. And look at how thin that device still is. Now they did have battery woes with some previous Note device, I think it was the Note 7. They had to recall it. However, they fixed that. They were doing rigorous testing and now the batteries hold up just fine. No issues with phones starting on fire anymore. These batteries are much larger than most of them you're gonna find in the iPhone devices. So I just like that. I feel like it holds on longer to a better battery health because you have more, you have a larger size. So it just lasts a bit longer and you know usually has better battery life than the iPhone. That's a very strong point I would say for these Samsung devices and definitely going in at number eight. For number nine, this is really only for the S21 Ultra as well as the Galaxy Note series, and that is true style of support. Again, you're gonna have to get the more premium S21 Ultra to use this. It's not available here for this one. You'll need to get a Note device as well if you wanna use this, and I think they're gonna bring S Pen support to the Z Fold 3 as well. We'll have to see what happens with that. But just having true stylus support, and I'm not talking about stylus support that you buy at your local store. Any stylus can, you know, touch these screens. But I'm talking about the true ones that go on the phone, like the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the Note 20 Ultra. Very good overall support with stylus. We don't see that yet for an iPhone. And I would say the 10th reason is that Samsung is simply more innovative with the design. They switch their designs up more often than Apple. Apple likes to stay pretty conservative on their overall designs. And because Samsung does that, I do have to give them a win in that category. If Apple does in fact bring something like a foldable device here, like the Galaxy Z Fold 2 in the future, it will be Samsung who was first. You know, regardless if this doesn't have the cool factor, the Samsung truly was first to market with something like this. So you're not gonna tell me that Apple is a more innovative company right now, especially when it comes to taking risks on smartphone design. So definitely the Galaxy Z Fold 2 is a true work of art here for a smartphone design. Yes, it doesn't have the cool factor of iPhones, at least amongst the general public, but amongst the tech community, this is really a strong overall showing that we are willing to take risks and definitely gotta give Samsung the win on that one right there for the Galaxy Z Fold being a boss status phone right there. And there's more reasons. I just wanted to cover 10 in this video. We could go on and on about how there's more customization, there's more freedom on that phone, maybe Samsung Pay you may like more than Apple Pay. There are many reasons why you might wanna choose a Samsung device over an iPhone here or Apple here in 2021. But those are the reasons I found that Samsung is just the better choice overall. Now, this doesn't mean that Apple is not on the same level. They are, they just have different reasons why you might wanna pick them. And that's why I'm gonna create the second part to this video where I cover why Apple, 10 reasons why Apple is better than Samsung. I'm gonna launch that video tomorrow at the same time this video went live. So mark your calendars and I'll see you tomorrow with that video. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.